Now we can write our very first Python program. So in Visual Code, let's create a new file. I can do that from the File, New, Text File menu, or I can expand my folder here and click this. Either way, we need to call it something with a .py extension. I'm gonna call this hello.py, so hello.py. Now I'm going to make sure there's no extra space on the left here and I'm going to type print round brackets. So a pair of round brackets, an open and close bracket and inside those round brackets I'm going to put a pair of speech marks. Notice Visual Studio Code is actually putting the closing pairs in for me. And between these speech marks I'm going to type hello world or whatever text I like. Then I'm going to save this with file save or maybe control S on Windows, command S, Mac, whatever you prefer. Now I need a terminal to run this. It is actually possible to run it within Visual Studio Code. There's a run button here, but I'm not gonna normally be using this. You can see it did run actually. It does say hello world here. But what I'm gonna do instead normally is I'm going to go to a terminal so I can use either the console on my system or I can open a terminal from the terminal menu in Visual Studio Code. But either way, what I really need to do is make sure I've got PowerShell activated if I'm going to use that. So I'll type PWSH and above all, make sure the Python environment is activated so we run this with the right version of Python. So I'm going to type here dot slash vem slash bin slash activate, press the tab key to autocomplete and ps1 for the PowerShell activate script for the virtual environment. So since this is a Unix type system, I can type clear now to clear the screen. That might not work on Windows, CLS might work, but you don't really need to do that. Now I'm going to type Python. Let's maybe just get rid of this sidebar just by clicking the icon up there. Python and a space, and then the name of the file I created. So hello.py, and I click return, and it says hello world. So a couple of points about this. Firstly, space does matter in Python, so you can't have extra spaces here. It's not gonna work if you have space there. You can have space above it if you want. That still works just fine. With the up arrow here, I can actually bring back that command and run it again. And when I type something that comes in pairs, like a round bracket or a curly bracket or a square bracket or speech marks or single quote marks, I'm usually going to type the pair before I type anything else. So notice I type the open and the close round bracket. Then I went back and filled in the open and close speech mark. And then I went and put the text in the middle of the speech marks. The reason for this is that there are a lot of pairs of things in computer programming, not as much in Python as in many other languages, but you still get a lot of them. And I think generally it's better to type a full pair of anything. So you know you definitely got the closing bracket or the closing speech mark or whatever before you fill in whatever goes in the middle of them. So try that out for yourself. To get a Hello World program working is a huge achievement. And honestly, it's all downhill from here in a good way. <laughs> well, that might be a slight exaggeration. We're gonna look at some tricky things, but if you can do this, you can do anything, I think, in the world of coding. This is a free video from my course, Python, and machine learning for complete beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides. Then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. 
If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.